What's up, Break? What's up, Unbreakable Kicks Army? Come step into the vault, check out what we got going on. What up, what up, what up, Unbreakable Kicks Army? I am currently in the vault. Well, I'm not in the Unbreakable vault. I'm in Tampa, Florida right now at Vault 813. And I got my bro Matt right here. Matt, I ain't gonna stop, bro. This is my first time being in here, but I've been peeping out the wall, bro, and you got some stuff that may enter the unbreakable vault. But before we get into all that good stuff and spending some bread, because technically I ain't supposed to be spending no bread right now. Matt, go ahead and tell everybody how you started, what you did, all that good jazz for them that I need to know. What's up, Army? This is Matt. So we started back in 2018, me and my partner Drew. We started our first location at downtown Tampa. We're in International Mall right now. I'm gonna show you a little bit about the vault and what we're working with. Let's start over here at the Yeezys. All right, man, so I see you got a hefty Yeezy collection over here. And the one that sticks out the most to me is 100% the Wave Runners. I absolutely hate that I sold my Wave Runners, but word on the street is that these joints are coming back out this year. And if so, I will be adding these joints back to the vault. But I know you got a lot of Yeezys over here, man. But since I've been in here all day, bro, I've been seeing a lot of attention over here at these Yeezys. So take me over here and let me know what you got over right, here. Let's go check out the hot sellers. Home runners, hottest joints out right now. Now we're gonna jump into the slides. We can't keep these on the shelf. Right now. So, man, I've literally never tried on the foam runners, and I've never tried on the slides. If you have to pick which one sells more, which one would you say sell more? The slides I say, or the... I say the slides, it's an easy sale. Some people are kind of turned off by the crazy look. Yeah. I see more and more people getting into this, but every day I see people coming in slides all day. So, man, I've never tried on either the slides or the foam runners. Now, I see you still got some 350s over here. 350s, I know, go up at least a size or half a size. What would you tell the army to do if they never wore a pair of Yeezy slides for farm runners? At least for the slides, what so would you do? For the slides, I always recommend going up one full size. They don't come in half sizes, neither do the foam runners. So if you're an eight, you're gonna go to a nine. They run tight right here, so definitely one up. On the foam runners, I would definitely say you could stay true to size, even they run a little bit big. It's something that everyone's feeling a little different and you really gotta try on. Before we get to the Air Jordan ones, you know my expertise with the retros and things of that nature. Let's check out and see what we got on feet. So Matt, what you rocking on feet, bro? I'm rocking the Shadow Air Kai's, the custom joints. What you rocking with, Brick? Man, so I decided to go ahead and bust out the Supreme Air. I'm gonna go ahead and get y'all the side that's not as ashy as the other side. But look, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. These joints are not comfortable. I had to delete my Instagram post because I had on socks. And when I took the socks off, they were a lot more comfortable. So for those who ain't rocked a pair of Air Force Ones in 11 years like myself, don't wear no black socks and go true to size. Let's go over here to the Air Jordans. All right, Matt, so it's looking like we over here with what well, I'm more familiar with, man. Some of the Air Jordans now. Air Jordan 1, if y'all been rocking with my videos, y'all know, I say the Air Jordan 1 has taken the place of the Air Jordan 11 over the last past years. Now I can see that Matt over here at Vault 813 has a hefty selection of Air Jordan 1s. Matt, what's the hot sellers as far as Air Jordan 1s over here? Right now, anything with UNC colorways that are dropping, the UNC blue ones right here, fast seller. Let's see, the Royal Toes, always good. We also got the Obsidians. You know all the TikTok stars wearing these, all the girls coming in, everyone coming in for these. I'll just be real with you. Um, <laughs> you know, anything they wear is for the flying. So, look, we got something a little bit more out there. You already know the J Baldwin. It's funny because I was hoping that Matt was going to say some OGs because what popped out to me was, of course, we got some Air Jordan 1 Royals. Now, Armin, I always tell y'all, how can you tell that you got a legit pair of any retro from, I'm going to say, 2016 to like 2019? You got to get up close and personal. You got to get in the grill of these joints. And if you see that, that glitteriness, you already know what time it is. Cause most of the Air Jordans at that time period had this like nasty glitter effect. But good thing that Jordan brand definitely got that under control. Also man, how much the homes? Red on one side, Chicago. Still got two pairs of these man. Chicago all day man. But also I do see you got another pair of the Air Kyles over here as well. Do these do well in Florida? I know my man is busting out there in the world bro. But have you had anybody come in here 
Hey, y'all got the Ericas? Yeah, we get more and more people coming into the store asking about this shoe. We get more people trying to sell it. It's really one of these customs are really taking over. It's a very controversial shoe too. So a lot of people either hate it or love it. But we get more and more people coming in. Army, right, y'all let me know which one y'all going with, OGs or the Ericas? All right, so right here, we got the Retro 3s on this shelf. And then on the bottom shelf, we got some Retro 4s. I'm gonna take you over with some more heat over here. Yeah, so you did mention heat now, Army. If y'all caught the seven, what, what was it? Seventy thousand dollars sneaker unboxing that I did on my channel a couple days ago. I did mention a specific silhouette and a PE that I'm not that fond of, right? But my man Matt, he got three out of the what, maybe five schools that actually have them, and I'm talking about the Air Jordan Nine boots. Now these are still PEs, Army. This is the Oklahoma joints right here. Air Jordan 9, Oklahoma. Now if they would have just kept these just a regular retro 9, these joints would have been perfect. But you can see the sole of the joints is what makes them like the winterized boots. So you got the Oklahomas. We got the Florida joints right here. The Florida Gators. And then we got the Georgetown. Now Georgetown to me is hands down the best colorway that they did because they didn't go with a black suede. The other ones have a black suede. I even think that the Michigans have a black suede as well. So just wasn't a fan of them joints at all, Army. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about them in the comment section below. All 813, we always up to bigger and better things. But unfortunately, because of politics and stuff that's out of our control, we're not gonna be at this location no longer. If you're serious about it, slide in our DMs, let us know what city needs heat. But also, we just launched our website, ball813.com. Come check it out, tap in, show some love, we appreciate it. So right here, we got the crazy grade school selection. We got stuff for the kids, toddlers, preschool. Back here, we got the SBs, we got the dunks. All this inventory is gonna be on. Speaking of dunks, my man's over there just wind up buying a pair of panda dunks, man. My man just bought some panda dunks, Matt, go ahead and finish. All right, so all this inventory you see, all this crazy inventory in the vault is going to be on vault813.com. You know we got the Yeezys, you know we got the OGs, we got all the heat, but we also got some other stuff too. Like what else you got, man? Talk to me. We got the Dunks and SBs all right here. Now, I ain't going to stop, man. I, I, I wouldn't say that I've been really rocking with Dunks like that. I wouldn't say that, like, you're going to catch a pair of Dunks on my feet. Surprisingly, I got a pair of Air Force Ones on my feet, but... You know, Dunks is really doing this thing, man. And I feel like, again, because most people can't get their hands on a pair of retro ones, the OG has, the mids are starting to get crazy, the lows are getting crazy. So the next best thing is the Dunks. Now, since we've been in here filming, it's been at least a couple people that have already bought a couple pair of Dunks. So Dunks are just moving everywhere. Matt, what else you got up in here, bro? Come over here, we got some apparel. We got some B-Lone, we got the vape anti-social we got supreme right now for the next couple weeks we're running a special fifty dollars off all the loan shirts we got the off-white we got fifty dollars off all uh supreme we got the ball 813 as you can see right here you know we got the merch check us out on ball 813.com all of that's available but break i got something that's really you know, really your specialty. Okay. You have them in your vault. Okay. Let's go over here to the samples and PEs. Let's check it out, bro. All right, great. You see anything that really catches your eyes right here? Man, you know, I got the all whites. Of course, you know, Oregon, that's my idea, man. But these Air Jordan 6 Tim Howard's now, most people haven't seen this. I want to say it's probably like one of 24. Don't quote me on that. But I want to say it's one of 24 of these Air Jordan 6 Tim Howards. Now, these came out in 2014, but what's special about these joints is that the entire upper is 3M. Entire upper is 3M. You got that nice splatter. Joints kind of give me like a Midnight Navy vibe. All right, Matt. So, the Tim Howards. Again, all right, Matt, I want to say it's less than 50 pairs of these made. Came out in 2014, and these joints again just give me like a midnight navy vibe. Now, man, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. Before we start recording, we was back in the office. I snuck in here and I checked out the size. And yes, Army, this is a size 11. So I know my boy Matt is up to bigger and better things, and these joints look great in Vault 813. But I know that they will look phenomenal in the Unbreakable Vault. So with that being said, again, man, I know you up to bigger and better things. This is my first time in this store, and unfortunately, it's gonna be my last time. But before I dip, I gotta put some bread in your pocket. 
gotta put some bread in this little man. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab these up off. That's love, man. From Just don't tell my wife. Here, you know my wife. Don't tell her we got it. I'm going to make sure that she can't see this video either because I just spent a lot of bread. So appreciate you though, big bro. All right, um, we appreciate my boy Matt from Vault 813. We're supplying another PE that we'll be entering into the vault. Matt, take us home, bro. Hey, I appreciate the Army for stepping in. Just like any general, you got the Army behind you. So I want to thank my Army, my team, because without my team, we wouldn't be Vault 813. So check us out. Again, vault813.com. Once again, Tap in down below, comment, tell us where you want to see us pull up with the heat, pop up, slide in the DMs. Appreciate y'all. Go on. Army, stay safe.